the bureaucrats have been, you know what I'm saying, like running things outside of the Constitution. Once again, I'm going to ask the question again. If the Constitution has no legitimacy, then the government does not the government have legitimacy. It doesn't. No, because the government still has power. When was the last time that you had your <laughs> constitutional fucking rights? It's not about every idea. damn day. Read to you every damn exercise. Every damn day? The fuck? Like what what kind of question? <laughs> uh, what? Does does the does the NSA yes, still I have been arrested? Does the NSA And I've still, used the constitution to get myself out of arrest too. Does the NSA still use or still fucking mass surveil the American people? Of course. That's right. in law. Are there are there hey, still guys. are there still prisons where like you can go to jail, you know what I'm saying, and not have a uh, fucking your constitutional rights respected as a terrorist. I mean, I asked the question about prisons to begin with. What questions about we prisons? We are on. All right, hold up. We are on this. Do prisoners have, have the rights right? of an American citizen? No. Since no. you want to talk about being on land no, of an American, then then what you just said is via prisoners proves what you said earlier wrong. Who? You, Tom, you. What what did I say earlier that was wrong? You said that since you're born here, you are thus under the jurisdiction. You have the you are an American, right? Well, yes. once right. You I'm wrong. Are yes. arrested and you are in prison, your rights are gone. Yo, but that doesn't yo, again, gone. just 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 because your rights are gone don't mean that you're not under the jurisdiction of the US government. Why would I be, if the government is illegitimate, why would I be under its jurisdiction? Well, like, aren't you locked up by the U.S. government if you're a prisoner inside of America? Potentially. Tell that depends. to the fuck. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> it depends. It really does depend. Again, the fuck are you talking about? What do you mean? Dudes cop deals all the time. Well, again, what the fuck are you talking about? How can you say like, "Oh man, you know, like you're not part of the you're not part of America if you're locked up"? Like you're still an American in I jail didn't say, who's I didn't say under that. the jurisdiction you of the uh, you're, you're under the jurisdiction. You're not an American. You no longer have your identity. You, you can't vote. You can't fucking own a firearm. Well, so you're no longer an American. You're still an American, like yo, because like you still are no, under the American. Yes, no, you are. You're not. Just because like you, what you think having you're rights not. makes you an American? Yeah, according to well, actual God, citizenship, right. that's how that works. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's and, not. And if any one of my constitutional rights <laughs> do not apply anymore, <laughs> the, fuck are you the Apostle about? Paul. The Apostle Paul addressed this with being a Roman citizen. It was the same thing. If you don't have rights under the place that you live, you are no longer a citizen of that place, meaning you are not protected by the laws or the edicts, the decrees, the rules of that place. Thus, you are not a citizen of that place. No, no, no. Like, when you are a prisoner, you are no longer a citizen. Yeah, if you if you, you commit are no longer it, a citizen. No, if you commit a crime in jail, right? Like if you if you like stab somebody in jail, you know, they will take you back to court in an American court and charge you with more crimes. You're still under their jurisdiction. But, but you but you're right. conflating two things. You're you're no longer a citizen at that point. Yo, again, yo, being a citizen does not mean that, like you have rights. You're that's not, that's not how that works. Hey, dude, being a citizen out, doesn't mean you have rights. When you're no. What? You're not no. A what? You are a ward of the state. Well, you, you're applying citizenry as if it's like a positive adjective. <laughs> a citizen does mean you have rights of your place. What are you talking about? That's how it's been. Doggone, the Romans and Greeks were doing this to over 2,000 years ago. What are you talking about? Yo, if you were a citizen, that was the point about being a citizen, is that you had rights under the law. I feel I feel like we have much different ideologies of what citizenry means. It's not about ideologies. It's about legal precedent. No, yo, it's, it's, about, it's about corporate status. No, it's about legal precedent. What does the law say? 
These aren't my laws. I didn't put this shit in the, in the books, mind Look, you. Like, yo, yeah, like, yo, straight up. Like, if you live in another country, you know what I'm saying? You're not under the jurisdiction of America. Therefore, you're not charged no, by America. No, you're not a corrupt. citizen. Yes, you're not a citizen you're not, of the country. Actually, you can be charged by America. Actually, you can. You cannot be charged by America. Yes, like you for can. Committing a crime yes, you absolutely can. No, 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 no. If you're a citizen, like, okay, so if you're an Israeli, right, and you commit a crime in Israel, like, are you not going to be charged by America for the crime in Israel? If you commit a crime against an American, you can be extradited and be charged as an American. That's why they're, exactly, Floyd, that's why there's extradition, because it has to do with citizenship. Again, that's why there's a whole big to do about American citizens abroad, because citizenship actually matters under the law. And just, if you look at what's going on in goddamn Afghanistan right now, it's fucking criminal, dude. I don't. I literally don't oh, care. Don't even get me yo, Af, yo, those Afghan, yo, the like Americans, the Americans in up. Afghanistan should be left there to suffer for what they've done. No, the United States has been for four decades has been bullshitting alongside the CIA has been bullshitting with those people for four decades. Should have left them the fuck alone, but no, they we didn't. Fuck them over active, after the USSR we've, and we've more. We've been in active combat with these motherfuckers for twenty fucking years. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like why? He's, I feel like why? Why? why were we even there in the first place? Well, we were there in the first place to like fucking hunt out Al Qaeda, which were hiding out in that area after the <laughs> September, well, during the September 11th attacks. Actually, that was the Taliban, not Al Qaeda. <laughs> I mean, oh, guess who's back? It's the Taliban. Who don't care about the United States? They only care about over there. Oh, and, and, and guess who? Joe Biden just fucking bent over, spread his butt cheeks, and was like, <coughs> um, "I'll let you ride me if, if, if you let our people out." And no. then Al Qaeda was like, "Fuck you! I'm gonna blow you up." Well, no. Well, first off, first off, let me say this. All right, the Taliban are Afghanis. All right, Al Qaeda was Osama bin Laden in Saudis. All right, they're two different individuals. The, ta- the Al Qaeda individuals were the people who carried out the 9 11 ac- attacks. Taliban are the students, right? The young people who were away from the country during the Mujahideen during the 80s and 90s. Well, the early 80s, the 70s and 80s, right? And they came back to the country educated, you know what I'm saying? And you know, wanted to run that country. That's who the Taliban are. It's a whole different fucking people than the Al Qaeda. They're different people. Right. right. And like, yo, when and we I was went over there. on the dog on Taliban. When we, when we went over there, you know what I'm saying? We wanted to get fucking the Al Qaeda. We had no fucking squabbles. No, with the Taliban. initially it was the Taliban, not Al Qaeda. That no, was not the initial. No, the initial was the Al Qaeda. Go back to every report, Tom. And, 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 and Go back to every report. Come on, Tom. Um, in airports to keep motherfuckers in their country to fucking operate the um, equipment that we're leaving behind. Uh, let's see. I think Af- or, or, um, yeah, Afghanistan. I, I believe we tried. We tried to bring democracy. We tried to bring democracy to the fucking Afghani up, region. Hang up, on. No, no, no. Yo, look. This wasn't democracy, Tom. Tom. No, they elected the Taliban the same way the Egyptians elected the Muslim Brotherhood. I believe Afghanistan now has the second most badass force of Black Hawk helicopters, second only to the United States, because we gave them to them. Well, we stood here and tried to train the Afghani military, who happens to be the Taliban. They've got our fucking trucks. They've we got our care. helicopters. Don't care. I'm third. I'm third level removed from giving a fuck. I mean, you're you're not wrong, you know, Floyd. You're you are correct. These idiots are gonna fucking stand here and use these weapons against us. Against you, us? You know How are they going to use them happen? against us? They're gonna learn. They're gonna figure out how they work. And, and they're going to attack us with our own weapon systems. Where where are they going to attack us at? Well, Europe's wide open. Again, how far do you think a helicopter goes? Actually, pretty uh, fucking far. A couple hundred miles. A couple hundred. How far? Miles. How far are they from Europe? Do 
Do you know? Uh, 3,000 miles. So again, do you want to do you want to stand here and tell me how they're going to use this against us, and why why would we care about Europe? Is that America? That's the gateway. Again, is that America? It's the gateway. No, it's not. Europe is not the gateway to America. It, it really is, dude. That's the the gateway. It to, actually uh, is, Tom. The, the gateway to it America is Canada is. and Mexico. No, the gateway. These motherfuckers gateway are is gonna definitely take true. these weapons that we have left behind. They're gonna wedge their foot in the door, do you and know, then they're gonna show up right here. Do you know? Our do you know who's? Doorstep. Do you know who's in between Afghanistan and the fucking Europe? Who? Turkey, Russia, Ukraine. Russia is not in between. Russia would love to see us fall. Russia. Actually, they don't. Not at this point. No. Russia, Russia Economically, needs us. it's not viable. Russia needs us. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Russia needs us. Right. But anyway, back, back to the citizen league conversation. What are you talking about? They're busy sucking China's dick. There are, you do realize the United States, China, and Russia are all in bed together, right? Yeah. All of yeah. them are in bed together. China, China so only it's been that way for the last fifteen years. China only that's, exists that's, because the United States motherfucking allows them to. Number one and number two, no. they are completely yes, that's a goddamn gang yes. Bang. I don't want no. that. If, you know, if if we don't defend China's trade routes, China's fucked. No. Yes, they have no blue no. water navy. They have no blue water navy. And who cares, Tom? Who Again, cares? if you cannot trade with the wider world, China's fucked. They rely, they're eighty percent reliant on imports for their fucking food and goddamn raw materials. Trade with the rest of the world. So, who's going to actually attack Chinese shipping, Tom? Um, everyone around them. <laughs> the, the, give me an answer. Who would attack Chinese shipping, Tom? Japan, Ooh. Japan, Vietnam. Why would Japan India, attack Chinese shipping? Because they fucking hate each other. Really? Japan you really think so? Really? Yes. Shit? They fucking despise each other. Vietnam ain't gonna do shit, bro. Vietnam will do shit. When has Viet... Okay, Tom. Come on. Viet man. Vietnam, Vietnam has, has Vietnam fucked China done shit four in the last times. 30 years? G Vietnam has fucked China up like fucking four times. How? When? When, Tom? You fucking... When? Over the past 500 years, they have fucked them up four times. You said 500 years, Tom. Yes. 500. Yeah. Vietnam. The United States wasn't China. around 500 years ago, Tom. Why is that? Come on, man. 500 years, bro. Again, bro. Come again, on, the Tom. Rest, the rest of the countries around them hate their fucking guts. No, that's some cap. That's it's cap. Not, it's Everybody's not cap. in bed together, Tom. No, they're not. Everybody's in, bed in fucking bed together making money, bro. Stop it, bro. This is this this McCarthy and era bullshit needs to die. No, no, no. No one's, at, nobody's at each other's I, I, throat I, I, because it's not I good listen, for business. I yep. listen to this like Australian sounding motherfucker, right? This this fucking um get killed by spiders, motherfucker was like, dude. All right, what the fuck the did I was I did I miss out? America I was watching. It's gonna treat its allies. Nobody should ever come to America's aid. Yes. The rest of the world feels like that shit. All this shit would have been avoided if nobody signed the Bretton Woods Agreement. Could we get No, it, it, it goes beyond that. It would have been avoided if there weren't two fucking world wars. What? No one wants to have that real conversation. What? Okay. Do, do, do world you know wars that sh shifted the entire plane. Do, 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 do you know one, why? Those, those are in the past. Do you know? Do you know why the world? Do you know? Do you know still the ramifications, Floyd? Do you know why? Why World War One started, man? Or World War Two? Yes, I do. Why did World War One start? Come because on, apparently, Floyd. apparently, the assassination of Archduke Ferdinand was no. was the first step. Yeah, no, no, no. Like yo, the reasons why World War One happened was because of the fact that like. The empires inside of the goddamn world were fucking at the level of where they had to fucking stand here and uh, have the opportunity to like fucking stand here and see who was goddamn dominant. 
That was the no. mentality. Yeah. It, it, it literally goes back to Napoleon's poem. Are we are we gonna go for World War Three? Or are we gonna escalate these stupid fucking <coughs> proxy wars? Well, World War World War Three like would never happen. Like honestly, like yeah, what should have happened over the past like hundred years is we should have allowed the world to be able to go to war. You know what I mean? But we haven't because we've been holding up international it shipping. Has- we provide. We practically protected their. The United States has been has been literally propagating these pseudo wars for the last four decades. Tom, what are you talking about? No, the United States. The, has stood, the United has, States military industrial complex is alive and well, and has we been. Why D Eisenhower told us about this? Come on. Or indirectly at war for the last forty. 30, 40 years. Yo. Where basically well, is a mercenary state. That's yes. what we really are. Yeah. Mercenary state. Yo, the only reason we're going to war going to war is to keep trade and shipping open. No, that's some bullshit and you know it, bro. No. That's some utter bullshit, that's man. The truth. That ain't no truth. That is the truth. Bro. That is okay, the truth. Okay, so I haven't gotten so the CIA operations in places like Bolivia is for trade, right? Yeah. That that that's what that is. Yeah. If you believe that, man, I got a bridge off off the coast of Togo. Oh, why? 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 Okay. Okay, okay. So why are we at war in? Why would we go and uh, and deal with them with the CIA in Bolivia? Why? For what money reason? Money and arms trades. Money. Wait, what, who's money? Is, who's is, money? Is it not obvious to you money. that, that we're, 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 we're fucking we're who's supplying money? both sides, but we're playing devil's who's, advocate? Again, again, who's money? Ours. No, it's, it's for corporations to be able to do business there. Basically, uh, basically yeah, they're they're any food production property or money. It's for trade. I'm That's serious. what it is. Yo, yo, legit. Yo, it's it's to be able to have companies to be able to go in there and do trade internationally in these fucking countries. That's why. Yeah, and we buy their products, and yep. they get our money. They get our tax dollars. Our government, dude. It, all right, it's, all right. It's, hang on, hang on. Wait, dip, dip. Just came back. So, dip. The reason why we go to war in places like Bolivia is so that corporations can go in there and fucking, you know, what I mean, like. Uh, have agricultural international trade or you know whatever no, it is mineral no, yeah, no, whatever no. mineral it is you know, yes it's so fucking uh, american and european companies agricultural. yeah that's why america is sort of my neck of the woods man so um, let's be honest coca yes. coca like stop stop it it's to doggone high coca. private interests in the things uh, like cocaine so that you can legitimately oil. Palm oil. Fuck oil. Not With oil. places like Bolivia, the it's for cocaine. Why? The palm trees. The palm trees have palm oil. Yeah, you okay, a lot of consumer okay. goods. Okay, all right, all right. Hold up. Hang Hold on. up. Hold up. Hold up. I. So now we've given up Afghanistan. Guess who gets the goddamn opium field? Yo, the, the United Taliban, States. The Taliban. Still gets the opium Fields, which is why they were in Afghanistan as well. No, always. No, the Taliban. The Taliban stands here and fucking burns the opium fields. The United well, States go into Nam. The Taliban. No, was smart. The Taliban the, hates the fucking opium the, trade. Yes, the United States. Think about it like this, gentlemen. Think logically. The same thing with Nam. In the same game with the Afghan conflict, the Vietnam conflict, the Afghan conflict. After those conflicts, where do you see a flood of heroin, of opioids, of opiates, of morphine? Floods the streets, which you can't typically get in temperate climates like the United States. The it same thing with coca and all oh, the war on drugs. Right. Like, come on, man. This is documented shit, bro. Yeah, look. All right. And here's here's the issue that, like, I think that we're missing, right, as a whole. When you start talking about the drug trade and the CIA, the CIA operates off the books, and the reason why they're running drugs and doing these things of this nature is so that they can run their black ops projects and not not ask for money from fucking Congress. That's why. It has nothing to do with... Tom, you know the CIA is extra government, right? 
I, I know that they're extra government, right? And this is what I'm trying to tell they you. They have like, no you know, governmental no. jurisdiction under any government around the world. I know. They don't have it. There's yeah. no oversight. I know. There's no oversight. They, they're practically their own entity. I, that This is what I'm saying. Like, yes. yo, like, you cannot conflate them with the military. What they do in these countries is Wait, extra. wait, wait, wait. wait. They, they, you, when did I conflate them with the two? Like, yo, when you're the standing here. But they the use the military. Government. Tom, stop playing. They are a, a fucking. Oh, God. They, hi they they're, hide. They're goddamn criminals, man. They, yeah, yeah. That's, that's they the hide, end, they the hide their bullshit among the military. Right? But they are not part they of the They don't hide. They use. No, they're cowboys. They it get doesn't matter if, they, if they're a part of it. They use the military all the fucking time. Yo, again, but they get in where they fit in. They are literally not part of the plan. Like, we didn't go to fucking uh, Afghanistan. Make the, no, Tom, they helped make the plan, bro. Again, what we, are you did talking not, about? we did not go to Afghanistan the for plan. the opium. Oh, absolutely. About? No, we did not. The fuck? No, we did not. There is no reason to go in Afghanistan. Zero. No. There Literally was. zero. There was. After but 2001, there, there was. There was. That was some bullshit. You, you act like that shit can't be an inside job. Bro, come on. These are the same. This is the same institution. The same secret society that fucking assassinates, <laughs> put up and assassinates dictators, bro. Come again, on, man. Again, I don't. Hold I really, up, I really up. think you're giving them entirely too much credit. Guys, guys. It's guys, not guys. credit. It's facts. No, it's not up. facts. There's no facts in what you're saying. Really? The doc? Wow. Bro. So I'm just supposed to ignore entire documentation, bro. Come I on, have, man. Like, yo, have you read the hey. Afghan papers? Hey, Chris, can, can we all agree that this is a bunch of bullshit and we are divided? And that is exactly what this whole fucking thing is about. It's Wait. about dividing. Oh, for sure. Yo, that, that's dumb. Shut oh, for up. sure, but I'm All still right. going to tell the truth. Yeah, look, I got, I got you, right? But, like, honest to God. Oh, hang on, Eric, you going gonna to chime in on this, man? About what? Well, just in general about any of this shit that we're having a conversation about. <clears throat> I, <sighs> bro, listen, the U.S. government is, like, one of the biggest fucking terrorist organizations on the planet. Like, I agree with you. I agree with you. You know what I'm saying? So like, right? but like, yo, I'll, I'll be honest. I don't. I just, yo, look. I don't think anyone's yeah, in charge. Yeah. The entire Bruh. system is practically run on autopilot, and yeah, that that's the problem. But it's not, not, bro. it's not at all. It's not on all. You can't have a system as complex as this run on autopilot. It will okay. crash in a day. No, no, no. You can't. You can. But you, you can. can. You can. No. Humans are not machines, bro, in that okay. regard. All right, all right, all right. Think about it. Think about it like this. Think about it like this. This, this. this is how you think about it. So, like, McDonald's is a corporation, right? And McDonald's has, like, you know, 10,000 franchises throughout the United States. I don't, know how, I don't know how big the number is. I might be fucking way off or way over or under. I have no clue. And... The thing is, is that there's nobody in the company who literally checks on every McDonald's, right? Like, you could have McDonald's selling fried chicken somewhere, and you would not fucking know because of how giant that corporation yes, is. Yes, you would. They can't, they can't, no, they cannot do that. They cannot do that. Actually, at it's all. because... It's not, it, the franchise would be shut down immediately. Again. Uh, if, if they were registered... But the truth of the matter is, McDonald's isn't really a fast food company. They're actually the largest real estate corporation in America. Mm. Real money is by buying property from these further franchises and then lease them to franchise owners. That's how they actually yeah. make their money, not the burger. Yeah, franchisees. Right. I mean, like, here's the, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. So, like, if they kept kicking the money upstairs on a regular basis, right? Like, yo, no. No, 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 no. Like, yo, if fucking the McDonald's kept kicking the monies upstairs, you wouldn't know but that they, they were selling fried chicken. You'll never know that. That's what I'm saying, right? You wouldn't know. Like, you would Tom, have no Tom, idea. Tom, you don't know how point of sales orders work, do you? And as well as orders work, do you? Oh, I, I thought got you were you. involved in logistics and orders. Oh, well, no, no. I know. You I know. Can't, literally, franchises cannot do that. Tom Again. Works on the road, and I bet he doesn't even know about the secret fucking menu. Right. Again, the problem is, is that if somebody did it on their own and literally took it off system, 
they would fucking do that and nobody would know. And this is what happens with the government. It runs on autopilot, right? This isn't so, 1970 anymore, Tom. I know it's not no, 1970. No, it doesn't. I've worked. Tom, have you ever have you ever worked in, in retail or a fast food joint? Yeah, like, dude, legit. Most, most of my fucking teenage years were spent in retail and fast food. Did you ever get involved with the order? Yes. Okay. You know you know this that there are contracts with specific companies to order certain things, right? Yes. Yep. Yes. We have to right. keep track of everything. So if you go off and try to do that, oh, go ahead. Is there there is no guarantee that the number is exactly as right, even if you update your systems. I've done it before. I ran the computer. Right. Sometimes you get negative inputs where there's and we wonder the numbers are never right what the fuck are you yeah. talking about yeah. and that's Again. the point sometimes things go missing the books it's well all right so like here's the thing i feel like you're getting caught up on just the mcdonald's aspect of this right and because of that Here's you're going thing. you're going like yo because like I, I got the fact that like mcdonald's point of sale goes directly to inventory you know what i'm saying which like every time something's sold when it reaches a certain threshold it reorders that product inside of the system on the computer i get your mentality right and like you have or no, someone like, has to manually reorder okay i got i got i got what you're saying all right so like the thing is though if like if you take it away from McDonald's or say Seven Eleven or something else, right? Like Seven Elevens don't have contracts all over the nation for each individual beverage distribution. Like if you live in New Jersey, for instance, um, you'll order from only union shops because only union shops are allowed by each township to stand here and do the delivery and ordering of fucking products, right? So, you know. Like you'll get different products in different parts of the country. Like in you know in my my area, my state, you'll have an entire refrigerator full of just iced tea, but you'll have no beer in a Seven Eleven. There will never be alcohol sold there because of the fact you have to get a fucking liquor license to do so. Now, well, that's government, dude. I, that's, I got you. Shh, 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 don't let's let's not let's not let's not let's not let's not get too far away from the point, right? So the reason I'm saying this is that in each place you'll never know exactly what might be sold and what might not be sold. And the CEO isn't going to fucking stand here and know what each individual 7-Eleven is actually fucking doing. Right? And it's the same That's way with the government. The government the go regional Alright, so like the government has forty million employees. All right. There's no way any one person or even Congress can ever keep track of everything they're fucking doing. That's it's gotten to the point where literally the government is not under anybody's jurisdiction anymore. It's literally running on autopilot uh, for half. If you picture. really if you really believe that, bro, I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't re I don't really do not think you understand how these systems how invested people are in paying attention to this shit this is what they do bro i i really don't think you understand exactly what's going on Legit. i do i understand systems systems are simple to me right like very very simple systems you, you, you have local then you have regional then you have um uh semi-governmental and it and it takes and it takes one it takes one of those individuals to not be paying attention for everything to go fucking retarded, right? And once stuff sure, starts, no. the clerk in the, well, have you talked? Have you, you seen your regular clerk? Out and fire them. Again, the government is a union operation, and it's very difficult to fire but people. But it's not. It is. No. No, it's no, not. It's, it's really not. easy it's to not. if they it's want you not. out. If you're out, you're out. I don't, you're I don't, yeah. I don't think you understand how government works. I do. I think you <laughs> That's don't. That's the funny part. Like, literally, like, like yo. No, Tom, you don't. I, like, it, bureaucracy, it, it, bro. Right, right. Stay, stay you're the under the thumb of any of, there's always somebody you're under the thumb of and you have to directly answer to. Okay, I mean, there, there's always somebody like Indiana. Okay? You have to directly answer to. All right, I used to work in Amazon. And somebody a structured, fucks up. Yeah, if well, somebody I'm fucks up. Find the person that fucked up 
and they're fired. Again, this is government. Well, yes. Again, I'm start this is the same doesn't, bullshit, no, government, Tom. Government doesn't. No one cares. Nobody they cares. do. Oh, my God. <laughs> what I the fuck? I work at fucking Amazon. And do you know how many times <laughs> the war rules and nobody grow, gave a shit? Yeah. Oh. That's Amazon. It's well, not it just depends Amazon, on what you yeah. work. It's not just Amazon. It depends like, yeah. on what you work on. Uh, the, yeah. the more difficult it is to enforce. The more complex the system is, the more difficult it is to monitor everything. But now, 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 Navi. God damn. Damn. Navi is dude, hot. Eh? Settle, settle down. Jesus. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm sorry for everybody who just got <laughs> ear raped. Legit. <laughs> I, I guess we can work with that. Well, like, yo, look, here, here's here's the thing, right? So, like, you know, like my girl works at PennDOT, right? Do you know how many people at PennDOT are selling fucking inspection stickers? Like, what the fuck is an inspection sticker? Yeah, I, I. What the fuck does that even mean? Okay, so like your car, um, your car every year has to be inspected, right? Like, like you get a safety and an emission inspection, right? And there's lots of people, you know, I mean, who have like bullshit cars and can't, you know what I'm saying, get them inspected because like, you know, the defect to fix would be like $5,000 or whatever, right? So what they do is, is they'll stand here and go and buy a sticker, right? And like, basically like, yo, PennDOT, they'll have employees, right? This is outside of the government, outside of like, what well, this is completely illegal, but government employees will sell inspection stickers, right? You know what I mean? And like, nobody knows because like nobody's fucking in charge because like these middle management motherfuckers are just worried about keeping their goddamn job and having things continue to be the way they are so they don't really check on anything oh so it's like when my grandma worked back in the fucking booze industry back in the 40s and shit and uh, the uh the fucking um the, the tax labels would go missing and shit and the employer would just be like, hey, this has got to stop, but... You Never know, does. Hey, if you want to throw a few fucking bottles over the fence, we're going to turn a blind eye to it. Right, or, 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 you know, like you'll have, you know, individuals who stand here and if they go, oh, no, if I report this, you know what I mean, I might, you know what I'm saying, have to do extra paperwork. They just don't fucking do it. I mean, I have to go through meetings. I have to go through bullshit. Dudes are gonna fucking yep. come and beat my goddamn kneecaps in. Or the union dudes are gonna stand here and protect these people. You know, there's all types of shit that happens inside a government like this constantly, right? Which goes, the government just in general goes fuck it and turns a blind eye to things. It's, and and this happens all the time, dude. Especially in the fulfillment center. Middle management yeah. could monitor yeah. everything, but, that, you know, because it never want to work a fucking government job or a union job or anything like yeah. that, because I could get fucked up real quick. Well, you know, it's, it's not about, Plus, you know, that. like the point is, is that like, yo, what you have to understand, the government is a union operation, right? Everybody in the government is a fucking union employee. Okay, and they they operate under the purview of the fact that like yo, they are union people, and it's hard to fire them. It's extremely hard. So like they just don't get fucking bagged for shit. That's why like you never hear about government employees like really going to jail for doing bad shit. Just how it works. No, it's called protecting the shield. Again. You know, I'm like, you're, for instance, police motherfuckers. If they want to be out for your ass, they're going to come for your ass. It's really simple. Yeah, but police. If they don't want it. To, but they're not going to a lot of the time. I, because it protects the shield. I fucking mm. hate to say it. This is what I'm saying. There's no one in charge. We need to shag. They them. are in charge. No, there's no one in charge. They're not paying attention. They're just enjoying their cushy government no, they, jobs until they retire in 20 years. I, I know who works. The organizational is very much the same. Uh, uh, he really only does just sit on his ass, a few calls, and really do nothing. Just wait for the clock to go out. It's really and like all that. All you have to do is say I don't know anything. Yeah, pretty much. I'll just go. Not my problem, and they'll walk the fuck away from shit because they don't want to get involved. A mat, like yo, not only that. 
You know, they prosecute whistleblowers, right? And people who stand here and rock the fucking boat. Literally, we That's have. That's exactly my point, Tom. When they want your ass, you protect the shield. When they want your ass, your ass is grass. Here's the thing. You're not not paying attention. They're not. I I worked under a um, UFCW employee. Um, You know what the policy was? You don't get fired unless you burn it down or blow it up. Yo, look, again, you know what I'm saying? There's no one in charge at the government. They, they just, are. They just, no, they just walk away and turn a blind eye to bullshit. So shit's completely out of fucking control and out of pocket. Nobody has any idea but what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. Tom, it's the exact opposite. No. Of course they, they turn exactly a blind eye. They know doing. exactly what they're doing just because they don't care nobody in government actually cares about their own job They're just there to fill a seat they just want to collect a check and go home. too much of a problem hey you want to cause a problem fine okay Do all, right. It. all right so but like all right we've been we've been down and don't blow it i know up. i know i know we dip don't care i know short of that. i know i know dip hasn't been like watching my shit and floyd you don't really watch anything more than like 30 seconds and eric i'm not sure how much of my content you watch but- i watch your videos all the way to the goddamn and i even give you the goddamn ad revenue I don't. I don't get so, ad revenue. You know, damn I well. Plenty I don't, of your I'm not monetized. No, I'm not monetized. Right. So, all right. So, recently on my live I think streams, anybody I've been, actually gets paid. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not monetized. Like everybody knows, I'm not monetized. Right. Anyway, right. So, we've God been. We've been. It, we've been. Tom, we've been breaking why down. Are they putting fucking ads on your videos. Well, they better not be. I'd be fucking pissed if there's ads on my video and I'm not getting paid. Oh, and, there have been ads on your videos. Oh yeah, there's oh, ads. God, it's fucking there's bullshit. There's ads, dude. That My is bullshit. He's not getting paid. Working goddamn overtime, trying to fucking scrub that shit off of your videos. Oh, yeah, that's fucking garbage. Yeah. Anyway, right. So like, all right. So really, something we've been breaking down this uh, fucking Menchus Mobug shit, right? And one of the examples he brings up is the idea of when Egypt stood here and had the um, uh, Muslim Brotherhood take over. Basically, it was the Arab Spring Movement, right, which was pushed through by the State Department. It was these uh, like college educated motherfuckers, you know, these idealists who thought, you know, democracy is the way to go. And this is what happened in Afghanistan, too. Right. Basically, they stood here and they said, all right, we're going to fucking make the original guy Mubarak fucking get pushed out. And we're going to fucking, you know what I mean, let these individuals have, you know what I mean, like democracy. And they elected the Muslim Brotherhood. They said, well, it's okay if they elect the Muslim Brotherhood. They don't know how to lead. What they'll do is, you know what I'm saying, they'll stand here and come and ask us for advice, right? Because, like, they have, like, a small pocket of Americanized State Department individuals on this uh, small island called Is uh, Ismailic, right? And these fucking Muslim Brotherhood individuals didn't ask nobody for fucking advice. They decided to govern. And they stood here and started fucking up the country until, like, these people stood here and overthrew the fucking government and put it in the hands of the military. In Afghanistan, they did the same thing, and they tried to put it in the hands of the military, but unfortunately, the military was the Taliban, right? And these people legitimately, like, didn't ask for fucking permission to do any of this shit. They didn't stand here and... Like, go to the president and say, this is what we're going to do. I mean, like, Congress stood here and rubber stamped whatever they were doing, and nobody thought it the whole way through. Nobody looked at the fucking shit on the ground and said, this is what's going to end up happening, other than maybe, like, Ron Paul. And when they did this, right, they fucking sat here and put the Taliban in charge. The people elected the fucking Taliban. The Taliban were fucking basically all of the military people. Because if you're going to get individuals who are fighting age, you're basically going to get young men who are fucking Islams and, or Muslims. And were, you know I mean, educated in places like Iran and Pakistan. And so we trained the military up at a great expense to us. It was something like $300 million a day. And we fucking trained up about 600,000 individuals and handed that them weapons. Right. Right. Hang on. Hang on. Like- 
Afghanistan today. That, that this, is, this is exactly what just happened, right? And so when the U.S. said they were fucking leaving, basically the people who were in the military took off their fucking uniforms, put on their goddamn fucking turbans, picked up an AK-47, and took the fucking country the fuck over because they were already in charge. That's what happened. It's not the fact that the United States knew exactly what they were doing. They're retarded and nobody was in charge. The State Department was fucking full of ideologues who thought that democracy is the best way to run things because they were educated at fucking Georgetown and Harvard and Yale. Bro, Tom, Tom, I get that you have this anathema towards those in academia. But I'm not talking about fucking talking heads. I'm talking about people who actually run shit, who actually know how this stuff, who literally Nobody spend their entire lives studying shit, this. Dude. Generals and more. Nobody yes, they knows. do. Oh my god. Do you do you really think? Oh the, my god. Do you really think the military was the ones who were making the decision on the policy for the State Department? No, not the military. I never. Who said anything about the military? You said generals. Who do the military okay. answer to, Tom? <laughs> We're waiting for. A, uh, I'm waiting for a vet to show up uh, to the server. He might weigh in on the this. The military answers to uh, piss pants and cheap. Again, the presidents come and go. Right. So like the individual who said anything about the president, (laughs) who do you who do you think they answer to? What depends on what specific operation we're talking about. Again, this is the problem. That's the answer. This this is this is the problem. What operation? uh, I'm answering. If you really want to break it down, these motherfuckers answer to the fuckers that have the coin. There was no plan. Bankers, uh, the- there are always plans, Tom. No. If you think there isn't a plan before war, I don't know to tell you. No, no, no. I don't there, tell you. there was no plan, is what I'm saying. There was no overarching <laughs> fucking plan. No, no, no. There was like Sorry, there, no. There was there was seventy. There was seventy or there eighty or a no hundred different plans. Plan. Yo, each yo. They had like yo. No, no. Dips laughing, like you're, you're fucking retarded. Listen, there I was am. like there was like fucking. I'm not retarded. There was thirty or forty people in charge of Afghanistan, and each of them had complete uh-huh. executive authority over whatever the fuck it is they were doing. And half the time, none of them knew what the other one was doing. Tom, fucking read the Afghan papers. Read the Afghan again. Read the Two Afghan papers. Decades. Read the oh, Afghan yeah. papers. Literally. So only read one form of documentation, Tom. That's what you're telling me. Yo, look, and ignore every other form of documentation. No, listen, listen, it is 800 pages of interviews from everybody, from the President Karzai to Rumsfeld to the fucking generals to the colonels in the military, colonels in the fucking Afghan military, everybody. They fucking sat there and covered everyone involved with this shit that they could fucking find. It's 700 fucking pages of of shit and FOIA requests and government documents. Literally, there's a reason why I'm telling you to look at this. It's not because of the fact that I'm going like it's one form. It's a bunch of forms of documentation. It is the best shit that you can possibly get on this. And legitimately, every I'm not one of them. Sit here and fucking read through a goddamn FOIA request. I understand. No one is. I did. No one does the patience for it. No I did. Does he was willing to? I did, and I covered I don't it. Have the time I know, I know. That's why I'm here. Card. That's why I'm here to like stand here and tell people. Legitimately, none of them knew what the other ones were doing. No one was in charge. That's intentional shit, Tom. Uh, Plausible <laughs> deniability. Okay, okay. Plausible <laughs> deniability, Tom. Come on, man. No, no you don't understand. That's the most. That's the most basic. <laughs> have had a reason to go into Iraq. I, Maybe. Okay. No, 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 we no. Afghanistan, no we had we had we had way more reason. No, no. We had way more no, reason. I, we had way more reason to go in Afghanistan than we did Iraq. There was Iraq. way more. Yeah. But that that heroin game sounded quite nice. By the way. I'm saying, though, look. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, let's, let's let me let me let me keep it a hundred, right? I keep I keep it a hundred with you. All right, Afghanistan and the heroin, right? was one part of it. But it was like, just like everybody goes, oh man, all that lithium and da-da-da-da. And I'm like, okay, first off, 
the largest supply of lithium yeah. is in South America. Right? It's way closer. Yeah, it's easier. I no, 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 it's not. It's easier to move. The thing about the lithium in Afghanistan is it's buried in the fucking mountains of goddamn the Himalayan. It's buried in the Himalayan mountains. Getting it the fuck out with no transportation lines and no fucking seaport anywhere in anywhere on the country's uh, fucking borders, right? That means you either have to go through Pakistan or Iran to get it the fuck out of there, or China. And that's why we've been there for twenty fucking years. No, no, you're not listening to me. There is. No way of moving things out of that fucking country in a in a way that we don't have to deal with fucking shitheads to move it, right? Do you want to go through Pakistan or Iran or China? Which one sounds worse? Or we can go north if, if you if you want. It's Iraq doesn't share a border with Afghanistan. Or do you want to do you want to go north? We can go into you know what I'm saying, fucking Azerbaijan, right? Which leads into Russia, right? No, I, I, I'd rather <laughs> suck off Winnie the Pooh right. to get my shit through his country. Yeah, I mean, like, listen, like, again, what I'm telling you is the lithium there is fucking impossible to move, right? Like, the, the heroin, you can move with a helicopter or a fucking plane. You can't move a lithium with fucking cargo planes. Lithium has to be transported on either heavy rail or more fucking giant tractor trailers, right? And even with giant tractor trailers, it's a pain in the fucking dick to do so. It's literally the same way you have to move corn. You you live out well, in Indiana. Is, 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 it, is it like that fucking heavy? Yes, it's fucking minerals. And it has to be processed. Which, by the way, there's no processing plants. Because this is a deindustrialized nation, which most of the fucking place doesn't have any electricity. It has the same amount of roads as Rhode Island does. In the entire country, and it's the size of Texas. Well, that would explain why Russia is so interested in establishing a Again, pipeline. You can't put pipelines over mountains. Do you know what happens when you move oil up a mountain and try to bring it back down? Oil happens to be very yeah. heavy. When you move it back down, gravity will push it into whatever it is, I, and I, it will I, break the pipes into pieces. I, I know fluid dynamics. I do. But that's not what you do. You go through the mountain. These are the Himalayan. These are the Him Himalayan mountains. Where are you going to fucking stand here and move all the drilling equipment? Are you going to build brand new fucking roads to fucking put them in, and then never use them again? Been done before. Again, why? For what purpose? What does it serve us? None of the countries around that are allies. It doesn't serve us. It serves them. Who's Dude, them? Again, who's men. them? I'm talking about the United States. How does it serve any United States interest to move goods it into our, our enemy countries? Now, Russia stands to benefit very greatly. Why? Why? Explain to me why they don't have a they don't because share a they don't share they a border with become, them. They become energy independent. They're already energy independent. We there's were, no oil in Afghanistan uh, uh, until until fucking. Uh, there's this no man there's no oil in Afghanistan. Office. There's no oil in Afghanistan. Russia already has oil reserves and it's fucking fine. Again, explain to me. Legitimate. Explain this to me. Why it is that we would stand here and fucking worry about what Russia's gonna do in Afghanistan? What resource are we looking at again? There is none. Legitimately, there's no re like once you eliminate all the fucking shit out of this country, right? Once you eliminate, you know, what I'm saying you go through like each of the resources that they're talking, like oh lithium and cadmium and all this. Shit. No. There isn't enough that it would matter to us. And we have closer supplies. Where do we have domestic fucking uh, deposits of fucking lithium and shit? Where, where are Costa we? Rica. Where? Again, it's a short boat trip to goddamn fucking California. 
in Texas where you're going to use it. Who the hell even uses goddamn lithium ion battery, 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 battery companies. All these battery companies use uh, it. All the battery companies, every these batteries and our own phones yeah these batteries. so okay explain to me explain this to me like i'm a four-year-old why it is we worry about lithium in afghanistan we wouldn't exact this is all dumb there's nobody in charge and that's why the fuck shit's fucked up it has nothing to do with the fact that like yo you think that like there's some giant conspiracy to move heroin or fucking minerals out of this country once you really get into it, you start really looking at it. None of it makes any fucking sense. The truth is, is that we went into Afghanistan. The State Department was standing here trying to make the government into a democratic government because that's their morals and values. It had nothing to do with like any actual real fucking plan, right? No real fucking logistics behind this, right? They sat here and they fucking went, oh, man, you know what we're going to do? We're going to sit here, you know what I mean, and make these, uh, make these individuals into Democrat or uh, make it into fucking Idaho, right? And like, yo, it turned into, you know what I'm saying, fucking Iran because it's a mountainous country, right, full of like people. It's only like, what is it, like 22% of the entire population lives in an urban area as compared to 86% of America, right? They have fucking 10,000 miles of fucking roads in the entire fucking country. In a place the size of Texas, Texas has 276,000 miles of fucking roads or something like that. Yeah, right? And half of their roads are unpaved. This country is a shithole, always has been a shithole. Explain this to me. Why it makes any sense for what we did. Other than the fact that no one was in charge. Everybody was doing their own thing. And fucking nobody's had any oversight in any of this shit. Because nobody wanted to take responsibility for how bad it was going to get. You know, I, I can't understand why uh, one of my roads that I drive every fucking day. Is tore up and it's. Trying to go down into the goddamn gully and shit. Again, I don't care about your roads. What I'm telling you is, it's like the entire fucking Afghan project was just a giant clusterfuck by the State Department, which has no oversight. I, 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 I can sympathize. Majority of that fuck up we inherited from the British M. No, this is, this is just academics being academics and doing retarded shit. All right, so now the, the, the question is, what the fuck do we do to stop this? Well, like you called out the individuals who made this problem a problem in the first place. Basically get everyone to hold these individuals <clears throat> accountable and have them tried them to resign at best or hang them at once. Yeah, look, what you do is you call out the right people. <clears throat> we stop yelling at Joe Biden because he's not the problem. Biden can barely remember his own fucking name. Yeah, sure, his cabinet are just keeping him are just keeping him alive. His own cabinet yeah. is really running the no, show. No, no, no. I, 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 I cannot forgive fucking Joe at all because again, he's, a he's goddamn yo, child. Again, he's he's Biden a puppet. Doesn't even know. Stop puppet. getting he's mad at puppets. Stop getting mad at puppets. Yeah. It's dumb. I'm I'm not mad at the. Puppet. He's a child. I'm from Latin America, okay, and I can tell you this: we have puppet leaders all the time. Yo, look, the president. The, the president has always been a puppet position. Ah. All right. Goddamn, motherfucking Eric and Dip both motherfucking bounced. This yeah, is what happens. This is what happens when you knock them in the head with their own nonsense. Anyway. The, uh... Anyway, yo, look, you know what I'm saying? Like, fucking, I, I feel like we accomplished the goal that we came here to do. <coughs> I mean, my yeah. issue with Dip and Eric is that they try so hard to be, like, revolutionary and book, but as someone who knows the, who knows what, as someone who is familiar with you know, counterculture and revolution culture, and, and I've met guys who are real, legit, 
bastards. Those two, I don't think they 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 with them. They actually had to take up arms. They don't know what the fuck they're really asking for. Like, yo, these, these individuals just don't know shit as a whole, right? The problem is, is like, yo, motherfuckers get in these goddamn hug boxes and don't have a chance to, like, really, you know, have real conversations about things. You know what I mean? And, like, they never get knocked in the head with their own shit. And the moment you stand here and challenge them, like, yo, fucking things go terribly wrong for their mentalities. Right? Because, Always like, yo. The- yeah. You know, and like, yo, this is this is the problem. And like, yo, when you just continually defend and defend and defend and defend your shit, you know what I mean? Like, you're you get exposed because like, yo, you know, you don't have anything really to fall back on. Anyway, yo, look, man, I'm fucking, um, I'm I'm gonna fucking hit this stop record button. You know what I mean? Because like, yo, it's fucking, you know, we don't need to fucking do this anymore because there's nobody here to have that conversation with. So like, it is what it is. But I wanted some content that I could upload tomorrow while you know what I'm saying like I gave my kids. And All shit. right. All right.